Hi, and welcome back to part three of today's lecture. So we've seen the characteristic equation. We've seen how to get the eigenvalues. Now what I want to do is spend a little bit of time giving you another exam worked out example about how to find the eigenvectors. And basically, once you have the eigenvectors, you can start the work to finding the eigenvectors. Now, one thing you should pay attention to before you get going is that eigenvectors are not unique, right? Let me give you show you why. So if V satisfies A times V is equal to lambda times V, then so does the vector A times C times V, right? Because I can take the C and pull it all the way out this is equal to C times lambda times V, and then I can switch the order around and I get lambda times C V. So once you have a vector V that satisfies this equation, so that means that it's an eigenvector. So if you, whenever you find an eigenvector, then any scalar multiple of it will also satisfy it. So this just means, you know, pay attention. If you're talking to some of your friends or you're putting it into a computer and you're getting an eigenvector, your answer, uh, may not be exactly the same, and it may be because of this particular fact. Okay, so let me give you kind of a detailed worked out example here. Let's go back to the example from the beginning of today's lecture. This two by two matrix, two, seven, seven, two, and we already computed the eigenvalues, right? So these are the eigenvalues, and they were computed earlier. So here we are, our eigenvalues. And now what you want to do is go systematically through each of your eigenvalues. Uh, and so for each eigenvalue, what you need to do is just find some solution, non-zero x, such that ax equals 9x. So really this has just become to find a solution to the homogeneous system given by the following matrix. So I usually like to first start by writing out what is the new matrix. So a minus 9t, and so that would be equal to negative 7, 7, 7, and then 2 minus uh, 9 gives me negative 7. Then I want to solve. I set up the augmented matrix here. So I want to solve negative 7, 7, 0, 7, negative 7, 0, and put dotted lines there just to remind us that it's an augmented matrix. And Obviously, I can like add one row to the other row and kill it. So I get 7, 0, 0, 0, 0. And I can even go a little further. I can divide out by negative 7 and I end up with 1, negative 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. And of course, this was a simple example, but we get x2 is free. Um, so let's let x2 be equal to t. And we have that x1 minus x2 is 0 which implies that x1 is equal to x2, which we're going to let equal to t. And we're just finding all solutions. So all solutions have the form x1, x2. So this is, if you notice what I'm doing, is really just first week, second week type of material. I'm writing out all the solutions. And now I have a non-zero vector right here. In some ways, this is the basis for the, the null space of this matrix. So usually, I just take the basis element um, and for it. And here, I'll just make a little note of what we have here. So we have an eigenvector, um, tt, um, if and only if t does not equal to 0. So we can take any one. So that's a, a specific eigenvector. Could be just 1, 1. I normally like to take the basis element. But you could have taken 2, 2, or you could have taken 3, 3. And sometimes it's useful. We don't really need it for this particular problem. We can go even a little further. We can actually write out the eigenspace of this eigenvalue. And that's the set of all x, right? Such that a minus 9i2x is equal to 0. And that's equal to all the t such that 1, 1 
or T is in R, or we can write it as the span of the vector 1, 1. So the eigenspace of the eigenvalue lambda equals 9 is all, all the things in the span of 1, 1. And now what you do is you just kind of repeat this process for each of the eigenvalues. Okay, so let's do it quickly for lambda equals negative 5. So you have to form the matrix A minus minus 5 of I2. So you're basically adding 5 to each entry uh, down the diagonal. So you end up with 7, 7, 7, 7. And then what you do is you solve your augmented system. So 7, 7, 0, 7, 7, 0, dot, 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 dot. This is row reduces to 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. What we get is x2 is free. So we'll say that x2 is equal to t. And then we get the equation x1 plus x2 is equal to 0. So that tells me that x1 is equal to negative x2 which is equal to negative t. And what we have is now all solutions have the form uh, as follows, x1, x2 is equal to negative t, t, which gives me t negative one and one. And so this is an eigenvector if t is not equal to zero. So an eigenvector is negative one, one. So this is an eigenvector associated to negative five. So this gives you a nice example of a two by two case. I then also wanna talk about, kind of do a little bit more detailed example uh, in the next part of our lecture. Okay, we'll take a quick break here and uh, I'll set up for the next part.